Hi, we're going to walk step by step through setting up and making AI videos on the free tier of Google Colab using WANGP. WANGP is an open source platform that allows you to run open source AI models that generate video and images, even if you have low VRAM. It has a pretty easy UI to use and the maintainer updates it really frequently with the latest AI models. So it's a great way to experiment. The free tier of Colab only has around 15 GB of VRAM for you to use, so we are not going to be able to use all of these models on Colab for free, but I have been able to make 1.2.5 billion work as well as OV. So let's dive in. First, go to this GitHub repository that I've linked in the video description. This is public and completely free use. Just click on that open in Colab button once you get there. That will open this notebook and then go up to the top and click run all and then click run anyway that will run all of the cells. You could mount your Google Drive here if you wanted the model weight downloads to save and your outputs to persist beyond your session, but I kept the simple. All it really does is download WANGP, installs the system dependencies, installs the Python dependencies, including the Xformers library so that we can run OV with really low VRAM footprint. And then it launches one GP and gives you log outputs. That takes a few minutes to run, so I've accelerated it for this video. One thing to point out is that we're using one GP on profile five. That is the lowest VRAM setting. It's not going to be fast, but it should work. Also, you can see that the runtime should be a T4 GPU. That should be the default that Google Colab gives you on the free tier. When the notebook is ready, you should see a public clickable link show up in your log output. Just click on that and your WAN GP should launch in a browser tab. Great. We're going to select WAN 2.2. Text image to video 5 billion model with the fast one option. This model has a small enough footprint that we can run it in our free Google Colab. You can give it an image reference to start with, or you can just give a text prompt. We are just going to do a simple text prompt here. A bear slicing a watermelon. And WANTP gives you a lot of knobs that you can turn but we are just going to run the defaults. You can get pretty deep here, much better than the commercial platforms. You have a lot more control on your output. So the first time you click generate, it has to actually download the model. So it takes a little longer. It's actually going to fetch them from Hugging Face and pull them down onto your instance. Back over on the Colab tab, we can see over in the file browser that under one two GP, we now have a checkpoints directory where it is pulling down the model weights. With the fast one, Bora, this is a three-step model. And then we see our video generated in about 17 minutes to create this five-second video. Not really a bear slicing watermelon, but a bear slicing into it with his teeth. We can download it directly from this UI. Or another option is if you go into the Colab notebook in the outputs directory, you will see your video outputs. Generating using OV is similar, but we have to make a configuration change first. So go to configuration and then scroll down and select Xformers as the attention type. And then scroll down and make sure you click save settings and that you actually see it show that the new configuration has been successfully applied. And then go back to video generator and you select WAN 2.2 in the dropdown and OV10B, and you want the fast WAN option of that as well. And you will see that your attention mode is now showing as Xformers. Otherwise, you're going to run out of memory. And then we're going to paste in a prompt. Prompting of OV can be a little tricky. I did a separate video on this. OV is a fun model to play with because it actually gives you the video and the sound. It is like Sora 2 or VO3. And the way you tell it what your speakers in the video should say is by enclosing it in those S and E tags. And then you enclose your background sounds in odd cap and odd cap tags. 
Then we are going to select 720p and make this a 9x16 video and keep the defaults otherwise and click generate. Keep in mind this is not going to be quick because we are really minimizing our VRAM usage here on an RTX 5090 this generation would take a couple minutes. Here it's going to take us an hour and 16 minutes but it's free and here's the result to tell you that a hand has five fingers you're supposed to be taking all of our jobs and you can't count to five i also tried a generation from the default setting instead of the fast one and it took an hour and 48 minutes with this result how many times do i have to tell you that a hand is supposed to have five fingers you're supposed to be taking all of our jobs and you can't count to five if that was helpful please hit subscribe thanks for watching